Hey, little guy. Uh, flying on. Let's try this team out. I'm the best in my whole class at using the self-serve healing machines um, to heal my Pokemon team. It's, I don't know. I don't. Good at pressing a button, kid. Yeah, that thing's radiating different colors. It's not just like one solid thing. <laughs> the giraffe rig is actually looking up at my guy. That's the bike guys looking down at the giraffe for me. <laughs> the Clatton. Uh oh. Time to go use the healing machine. Oh, she changes back? I thought the cool thing, you could have her in either or form, whatever. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs or not, Cosma. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed 30 solo quests. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Cosma. That's not Maltrace. It's cool. But okay, yeah, it's supposed to be Maltrace, but I was expecting Zapto Sardacuno Maltrace, but okay, Reshiram. That's a Reshiram treat. You know, oh, you know Reshiram, right? Frightfully rare, that one. Not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Reshiram, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. I saw, Re see, I saw Reshiram with my own eyes out near a town that I'd passed through in Paldea. The town was a lot of hard-working folk. Uh, li Big dog playing happening. It was a town where a lot of hardworking folk live. The type that, uh, the type that get their hands dirty. I climbed up a nice height to look out upon all their hard work carved into the landscape. And I was just remarking to myself that what a fine show of effort it was. And when I seemed to feel a presence behind me, I turned and bam! There was Reshiram right at my shoulder. A figure, um, <laughs> I figure it was, it must like good old fashioned hard work too. It loves, um, it loves that snack you have there, so you might just have a shot at meeting it too. Um, if you run into old Reshiram, uh, be sure to give it my best. So Reshiram's the fire one, right? Zekrom's the electric one? See, I see, because like according to this, it says it's over here, but I just don't fucking 
believe it. That's not these are your profits too anymore, but okay, yeah. Unless there's another part in the map that looks like that. Still Providence too from over here. The province, I keep calling it Providence. It's East Province three. They gotta like I think Serbi. So here's the thing: this isn't the first thing that Serbi has fucked up recently. Like I'm not gonna lie. Kind of fuck it up lately. I'm not gonna lie. Like IGN has had better coverage. We'll see if there's a restroom up here. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's a, that's a typo. East area province one. Zap Pico right there. Yeah, Serbi's just fucking up lately. Oh, they don't get a remix? It's just the music. Everyone gets a remix but Gen 5. Alright, I see how it is. I guess it's not Gen 1. The shittiest generation ever, Gen 1. Then hit it with a dark void, then. Well, not as cool.
Come on, you have the catch rate of an Onyx. guys the experience they deserve. Yeah, look at that. It's like if it turns daytime, that's actually gonna make my guy a lot more powerful. Ram should have been the easiest to catch on the ball. That's why this is so frustrating. Like, when we get to face Groudon, 
I'm expecting Groudon to just be one hour of chucking Pokeballs at it uh, while it has one HP. That makes sense. That's how Groudon's designed. This is this was a this is the longest Reshiram fight ever. Now let's see if you've been chipping away at those BBQs and not Cosma. Heavens to Betsy, you've gone and completed 40 solo quests. <laughs> Goddamn. I'd say you've earned yourself one of my special snacks, Cosma. Suicune. Now that there's a Suicune treat. You know Suicune, frightfully rare that one, not your run-of-the-mill Pokemon. Speaking of Suicune, I do recall this one particular encounter when I was a younger fella. See, I spotted Suicune once while I was out enjoying that famous lake you got in Paldea. We ended up having a little contest of skill, seeing which one of us could get all the way to the shore fastest. We all, um... Uh, we were off like a shot, but that sweet coon, well, it runs over the water. <laughs> don't, now don't it? Me being an ordinary human, the best I could do is a nice solid backstroke. It was a fine race, though, mighty fine. Even if sweet coon did end up uh, beating me by a whisker, it loves that snack there, so you might just have a shot of meeting it too. So you run into old sweet coon, be sure to give it my best. Just like that. Okay, just because it'll look baller as a, uh... As a thumbnail. We could watch this fight. No. It's so much bigger than Suicune 2. <laughs> Alright, tell me that's not gonna be a cool fucking thumbnail.
It knows it's a uh, it's other opponent's uh, tactic. This is kind of cool. Walking Wake versus Suicune. Good job, Walking Wake. Now it's time for the big dog to step up. JDF is just doing backflips right now. Making all the Power Ranger noises. What's up? Alright. Back to you, boy. Walking wake. Okay, so yeah, remix the Gen 2 encounter. Netball. You're good. I don't. I think you're a little. Too, I think you're too little to learn what role play is. Okay, you got to admit that was pretty baller. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. Did you know that I have a completely different channel? That's right, another channel. It's called Zeke Rambles. Zeke underscore Rambles. I review shows I like, predominantly tokusatsu, because I like that the most, but hey, um, sometimes cartoons or even some uh, of that Marvel stuff um, pops up on here. Um, anything that catches my interest and I feel it's worth talking about, I'll talk about it. Because if I don't like it, believe me, you'll never see it on the channel. <laughs> If this interests you in any way, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications. I worked really hard on these videos, and I'd appreciate if you'd view them. Thank you. Again. <laughs>